Hi girls, so this is my first YouTube video about lashing, my first like lashing channel, this is so exciting. Um, I've started this channel because I really want to like lay on my information onto YouTube. I have so much knowledge on lashes from just a year of doing it and I really want to help girls that are thinking about starting or that already are doing lashes, about what to do in certain situations, what products to use and just stuff like that. That is literally all this channel will be about. I'll be doing product hauls, I'll be doing like glue reviews, I'll be doing how to deal with clients, um, tips and tricks and getting your business growing, just loads of different things. Um, I know I've only been doing it for a year but I do honestly think that I have learned a lot from it and I have so many girls asking me like what do you do, what course did you go on, so I really feel like this should be very informative for all of you girls on here. So let me introduce myself. My name's Kasha, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I own Blink by Kasha in South East London, as you can see here by the t-shirt, you know. And we've got some logo at the back as well. So, I love lashing. Absolutely the best decision I've ever made in my life. I um, am passionate about it. And I just want to encourage young women as well to join the community. It's not... It's not a bitter community, like, come along, come start lashing. There's so many pe girls that want to get lashed, but there's just not enough lash tech sometimes. So if you do want to start it, do watch these videos, and hopefully you will be inspired. So this video in particular will be about what course to take, what courses to be careful of, and just, to, like, what, what to think about when you're actually booking a course, like, what you should be learning, what you shouldn't, well, like, yeah, that kind of stuff, like, what products also that you should be buying afterwards, and what you should do once you finish your course because it's not going to be easy girls it's not just plain sailing out here so i'll start off with the course i went to so i went to uk beauty schools in stratford it was a one day course it said it lasted from 10 a.m till 6 p.m but i left at three because i already did like my set set it wasn't really a set girls it was like literally like 10 lashes but anyway moving on it um so I paid £150 for it, which is really cheap um, compared to other courses. I've heard girls say to me they paid £400, £600, £800 for a one-day course. Darlings, don't ever do that. Don't do it. No course that does just classic training, because you never go into Russian at the beginning, just classic training should be worth £800. And now one thing I'll say to everyone, please be careful. I'm not trying to um, negatively, like bash other lash techs but lash techs tend to do this thing where they start their own lash um company and then they have their own lash accredited courses fair enough but in my opinion no course is worth 400 pounds unless you give me a, an, an amazing kit with it amazing amazing experience which i don't think anything really is nothing is worth that because you literally just get taught um like what curls to use all that kind of stuff you, you get a show and demonstration and then you practice in my opinion that's just not worth that kind of money so when i paid 150 pounds i thought that was a really good bargain and i actually did get a lot about out of it as well girls so so yeah i think my course was a really good idea um and also another thing between my course and some of the other courses that i see getting um charged 800 pounds I was taught using a live model, so my course's um, specifications were you have to bring a live model with you and you practice on that person. So majority of people bring their friends, their moms, cousins, aunties, whoever, um, as long as you know they can lay there for a long amount of time, you bring them with you and then you practice on them. Other courses now, which is another shambles I see so, so often, they just, they don't do live models, they just literally put a, like a doll's head, like a plastic doll with lashes on it and they make you practice on that. Girls, be careful. If you pay big money to sit there and practice on a doll, I promise you now, I promise you, you walk out of there thinking you're amazing. When your first client comes, they're chewing, yang, 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 yang. their mouths, their, their eyes are moving, they're talking to you, they're moving around, fidgeting. You will want to cry. Cry. Like, doing lashes when people are moving around is the reality of it no one has a head that just sits like that and no one talks like people clients talk to you clients will chew they'll eat they'll do loads of different things and that's something you need to be you need to get used to so when my client when my course said they do that i was very happy because i thought you know what i'm gonna get hands-on experience when you're taught driving 
you don't go into a simulator, you don't go into a little fake fake simulator and you go to get taught driving there, no. The driver starts to push you on the road and he teaches you what to do. And that's how it works. When they just do the little head thing, the little plastic head with the immaculately straight eyelashes, it is the, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of because you will not learn properly. You'll be thinking this is so easy and then you'll start struggling in the real world. So please be careful those kind of girls because it's just a waste of money and it's just not worth your time. So, like I said, that's one thing to be careful of. Um, my course, like I said before, tried to bring your model. On the course, they taught you the curls. They taught you um, what to be careful of. So, for example, like what to tell clients, like no water around your eyes, that kind of stuff. They give you a demonstration. The ladies like like got um, someone lying down, and she's doing the lashes. She told she tells you how to hold the tweezers, all that kind of stuff. That's really important. And then you have your own go. So I think I was there for around five hours in total, just being taught things for the first two, had a little break, and then afterwards I was doing my friend's lashes. Um, I found it quite hard because my friend had really curly lashes, and it was like, if you do lashes, you know that when someone has curly lashes, it's like, you can't isolate it properly, your, your, your fingers are like shaking because you're so scared. You're not holding the tweezers properly either, because let me tell you something, girls, holding tweezers is so hard, like, you... It's hard to like control, it's like having chopsticks, honestly, it's really hard at the beginning. Um, but yeah, it is a journey. When you're do when you're doing those lashes in the first for the first time, you do start panicking. I remember saying to my my course lady, I was like, I can't do this. I was like, Yeah, you have to because every single client you have will have different eyelashes and you're just gonna have to get used to it. So I was like, Oh my god, like what did I sign up for? But anyway, I got out of there and I passed. It wasn't nothing hard, and I did really I felt I felt like it went well, but I knew that it was gonna be a challenge moving on. At the end, the only the only thing the lady did, she um like when you finish, she she looks at you, so she watches you do it for like ten minutes, and then like if you've done it well for around ten minutes, and she's checked the lashes afterwards, she'll like say that you've passed basically. Um, another tip: every course you go on should be guild approved. So. That means that it's an accredited course basically so in the beautician world everyone that works in beauty should have an accredited guild approved course um if you go to someone's house and you just learn from them you won't really have anything to show for yourself for example my certificate has like a little label at the bottom saying guild approved so when i came out of my course i could fully go to someone look like i passed do you know what i mean so no one can ever say to you you didn't do that like i did that bitch so anyway um, when I came on my course, what did I do? I had to practice. Girls, practice, practice, practice. Like, I know so many people tell you that. Like I said, same thing of driving lessons. You have to carry on doing it until it feels natural to you. So, I've always said this to girls when they've asked me, like, what, like, how did you get yourself started? Like, how did you get yourself more confident? So, I, because I was learning at uni, I literally came back to uni. I did lashes for five pounds and I gave out leaflets. Lashes for five pounds, me. So I was practically making no profit at all. I was even losing money. But at the end of the day, that's what you need to do. You need to be humble at the beginning because what you need to remember is if you go charge someone 45 pounds and you are taking three hours and they're coming out of lashes that just do not look nice, you will get complaints, they'll get annoyed, they're never gonna come back and it's just gonna be a rubbish experience. And like, yeah, you're just not gonna have a good client client base. I have some girls that come to me now that at the beginning they I charged them five pounds and they have seen my work grow and they do come to me now because I never had that bad reputation thing with them. So charge people five pounds. I got as many clients as I could at the beginning just so that I can practice because it's not about making money at the beginning. At the beginning it's all about getting your portfolio up, taking loads of pictures of what you're doing and then putting up on Instagram or on other other types of social media and then just broadcasting yourself. So I said five pounds is what gets you the clients if you do charge a lot of money and your lashes like crap no one's gonna come to you they're gonna think why is this girl charging that kind of money and the second thing you should not be charging extreme amounts of money if you are still taking three hours I only started putting my prices down when I saw that my lashes were getting better and I was doing them a lot faster because for you to expect someone to lay there for three hours out of their day for you to like and if you used to charge them that kind of money it's just not feasible people won't want to do that the five pound thing is literally the only thing that will make people want to come to at the beginning and especially at uni uni was quite good because it was like you know every girl wants to look nice at uni so it was a good idea 
but I said before you do need to practice girls so it's like I had clients I think every day for around two weeks my back was breaking I was so tired I was moody I was like oh I can't do this but at the end of the day the way I saw it girls is I paid for this course I've paid for these products I have to make this bang I have to make this work and you will like if you have that kind of mentality you have to I paid 150 pounds for a course I also had to pay for a lash kit like it is all money and I was like, I'm not gonna waste my money now I have to make this work also going on about the lash kit some cords courses do provide you with a lash kit but those those lash kits will always have that person's like if it's a lash tech for example like me if I was to do a lash kit I would probably use my own product so for example I use lash trays I mean I sell lash trays so I'll probably be putting those in the lash kit um which may not always be the best um and people might always like you know like they'll be like oh mine's the best always have to buy these and obviously because you're a beginner you'll always be buying from them so it's kind of like a business type of thing if you see what I mean but because my course wasn't done for a, like an actual lash tech it was done through a school um we were given the option to buy um, a lash kit or you could obviously buy your own the lash kit they were selling which just looked ugly they had this ugly little packaging I didn't like it and I'm like a perfectionist like, I have to have like everything done properly so I bought my own lash kit from Lash Art um, I'll put the link in the description box below as well. It was I think £60 at the time. It's like a year ago and it included everything. It has like a little like a little satchel as well. It was really cute. It's black um, and it had little compartments for all the different things you need. So it had different types of lashes. It had the tweezers which I still use now. They're amazing. Um, it had the lash glue. It had loads of different things. So I would definitely recommend getting your own kit. Um, obviously after you've done your course as well because after you've done a course you know exactly what you need um so if they don't have anything in the kit you can buy it separately sorry you know i had to like had a bit of i think it was a burp anyway um so when you get the kit and all of that's done and you're doing like you're doing clients and you're practicing on them do make sure do make sure to take loads of pictures as well because you know you can't be out here doing lashes or taking pictures and thinking people are going to come to you. If I don't know what work looks like, I'm not going to come to you. Do you know what I mean? So keep doing that. Keep um, talking to clients as well. Like even though like you're you're nervous and you're like you're you're kind of like shaky with your tweezers, do try to actually like talk to them and be nice to them. Um, do say to them, "This is my first time doing lashes and stuff, or my second or third. So they are understanding, which obviously they should be if you're only charging five pounds. Because who does that? Um, and yeah, and you will have nice clients, girls. Like at the beginning, a lot of girls are really understanding. They know that you only charge five pounds. You only want to practice. You have you have a good client kind of um, relationship, clients, clients, therapist relationship with them, and they are more likely to come back to you again when you do start getting better at it. So, like I said, please do make sure you um, know what courses you're doing. Do make sure they are guild approved. Do make sure that they have live models so you can actually practice on really well um get your own kit it's the best option and do practice 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 when you come out of um your course um as that is literally the best option like you cannot just be out here charging extreme amounts of money for sparse stick to stuck together lashes it's just no so i really hope this video was very informative i know loads of girls have asked me about the courses if you have any other questions please do um comment below and I'll try to answer them either underneath or maybe on the next video. Um, and also if you have any other like video suggestions that you would like, please do comment below as well. And I will try to do them. Um, so yeah, I hope this is really enjoyable for everyone. And we'll see how this YouTube series goes for me. So bye.